Hello guys and welcome to your 10th C++ tutorial. Um, in the previous story I mentioned that in this tutorial we'll be actually doing a lab but we'll, we will not be doing a lab um, until our 12th tutorial so I apologize for saying that. In this tutorial we'll, we'll continue the while loop, we'll actually talk about the do while loop and our next tutorial is going to be the for loop and then we're going to do our lab or small project. So go right ahead and open the source file we had from our previous tutorial or if you if you don't have it anymore you forgot to save it just create a new project and r right click on the source files folder and create a, and add a new source file yeah, just pause the video if you haven't done so and once you're ready resume and continue the tutorial so let's go right ahead and start so what is a do while loop where in the do while loop first of all what we will do for this tutorial, let's go right ahead and declare an integer called i and let's initialize it, set it equal to 0 then what we want to do is type do open bracket close bracket and inside the do we'll actually want to type what is basically like the body of the do while loop so here we'll just type a simple message see how I'll just type hello world uh, something like this and then we'll just keep track of it so I'll just type i which is 0 plus 1 this is just so we can keep track of how many hellos we're gonna display so I'll make it a little bit more put a parenthesis there and open and close the parenthesis here and put an end line so that's gonna be uh, the body of our do while loop then to finalize well and what we want to do inside here we want to increment the i by one every time this is executed next we'll type while open parenthesis close parenthesis and put a semicolon at the end and inside of here we're gonna type i has to be less than let's say 10 times so what this will do let's go over the code one one time so we'll declare the do while loop we type do open close bracket and inside the do we basically type the body of the do while function uh, do while loop so all this will do is display hello world and keep count so it will start first message is going to be hello world one it's going to be the next one is going to be hello world 2, 3, 4, 5 until 10 and then after the while here the i is not less than 10 anymore this will become false and it will exit out of the loop and basically terminate the program so let's go right ahead and build the program and see if it actually works and build it if we get any errors we might get some or maybe not let's see if we got any errors nope it worked let's run it let's see what we actually get so there we go we got hello world 10 times as we expected so that was basically a quick tutorial going over the dubai loop uh, so it was pretty straightforward it's kind of like the while loop it's just like the only difference is that the dubai loop will execute the body at least one time even if the statement is false so you basically execute this one time even if this is false even if we set i here to 10 this is false but it will still execute the body inside of it at least one time so that's the only difference anyway uh, so for our next tutorial is going to be on the for loop and then after that we're going to do our second lab or project so please subscribe to my videos and check out all my other videos uh, they're very interesting and if you want me to make a video about anything uh, please leave me a comment or send me an email and I'll be more than glad to do so so thanks for watching my videos and please please subscribe thanks once more